today, we will see some examples related to the following concept of integers. Represent the following numbers on a number line. To represent a number on the number line, first draw a line and mark some points at equidistance. Mark any point as 0. The first number we have to mark is plus 3, which is a positive number. Move 3 places to the right and mark the number that you arrive at as 3. This is 3 points to the right of 0. The next number is 5. Can you tell whether this is a positive integer or a negative integer? Any guesses? Well, a number without a sign is always a positive number. Therefore, 5 is plus 5. Similar to plus 3, plus 5 is marked 5 points to the right of 0. The next number is minus 6, which is a negative integer. This is marked by moving 6 points to the left of 0. This is how we represent numbers on a number line. Next example. Compare the following pairs of numbers using these signs. First of all, we have to compare the given numbers. Then, on the basis of comparison, we have to use the given sign. In order to do this, we will use the number line. If a number lies to the right side of another number on a number line, then it is the larger number of the two. Similarly, if a number lies to the left side of another number, then it is the smaller number of the two. Now let's compare 1 and minus 6. In order to do this, we will represent them on a number line. The number plus 1 is marked 1 place to the right side of 0 and minus 6 is marked 6 places to the left of 0. As you can see, the number 1 is to the right side of minus 6. Therefore, 1 is the larger number and minus 6 is the smaller number. Remember that the face of the sign is always towards the larger number. Similarly, let's compare minus 5 and 0 on the number line. The number minus 5 is marked 5 places to the left of 0. Since minus 5 is to the left of 0, minus 5 is the smaller number and 0 is the larger number. Similarly, in order to compare minus 3 and minus 2, mark them on the number line. As you can see, minus 3 is to the left of 2. Therefore, minus 3 is smaller than minus 2 or we can say that minus 2 is larger than minus 3. Today, we have seen some examples related to the concept of integers. In the next video, we will clear some misconceptions related to this.